Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. Yeah, I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Welcome to this edition of What a Horse. Yes, sir. Got, we got him over here today. Yep. Mm -hmm. I do want to say this. Our prayers and condolences go out to the Millie Player family. We lost her this weekend, and she was well-loved in the walking horse industry. Yes. It really was. I tell you what, you do your thing, and then we'll get this, because i got some bones to pick. That'll work. <laughs> we'll be right back after these messages. <laughs> Hi, it's your friend Abby at Jim Armstrong Super. Just wanted you to know KBB Voted Super Best Overall and Most Trusted Brand once again. ACSI also named Super number one in vehicle safety. And KD Power is also named Super number one in brand loyalty. Last but not least, they're number one in my book too. So come see me and your other friends at Jim Armstrong Super and see what being number one is all about. The Tennessee Walking Horse is rapidly becoming the horse of choice when selecting a great ride for the family. If you're looking for a smooth, easy ride on the trail that will take you through hills and streams or an obstacle course competition, the versatility of the Tennessee Walking Horse will stand out by showing its willingness to learn in its smooth, easy, steady gait through the course. If it's a competitive show horse you're looking for, the Tennessee Walking Horse is the perfect family horse by young and old. Whether it's flat shot or padded performance classes for an amateur adult or youth, a walking horse is the horse of choice. The Tennessee Walking Horse is perfect for every equestrian division. Also remember one simple truth. If you ride one today, you're on one tomorrow. That's a fact. Two-time world champion and world grand champion Joe Hall is now standing at stud during the 2023 breeding season at Precious Memory Farm for $750. Contact Daniel Miller, 931-703-5830 or Shane Porterfield, 615-809-4257. Joe Hall is now standing at stud at Precious Memory Farm. All righty, got a couple of announcements to make. Alabama Jubilee is 22nd, 23rd, that's this weekend in Huntsville, Alabama. It'll be at the A&M Agribusiness Center in Huntsville. Contact Joan Kemp, 205-566-6090. Start time Friday is 6 p.m., Saturday is 5 p.m. Judges Scotty Brooks. Steve Gladwell and Newton Parks. Then the North Carolina Championship Show is October 5th and 7th through the 7th in Fletcher, North Carolina. Contact Myra Helton, 704-718-4152. Thursday and Friday, 5.45 p.m. start time. Saturday is 5 p.m. Judges Brent Greider, Newton Parks, and Amy Trimble. Now, if a lot of you know December 31st is the last time that I will be doing Water Horse. However, I want to leave with a bang. So what we're doing, and a lot, a lot of people know this, well, you and I have talked yes. about it. I believe the only way we're ever going to get justice is through a legal system. The um, political avenue seems to change with whoever's elected and 
every time there's a, an election, we see a lot of politicians promising everything and wanting money. Well, I'm thinking put the money behind legal action to where we can get some justice. So from now and the rest of the year, every horse show that we cover, which will start this weekend, every time we sell a victory pass or do any kind of an ad, a $400 ad, that's what we charge for a victory pass. 25% of that will be put into a legal fund. And at the end of the year, after we've collected all the funds, a check will be written and given to an attorney that will put it in the legal fund because that is important. So if you want to run an ad, you can email me at jerry at whatahorse.com or if you want to call me at 931-581-4411, either one of them, you want to run an ad on a stud, you want to run an ad that you want to sell a, a tractor, uh, I don't care what it is. Uh, we will run the ad, we'll run it three weeks, four weeks, you'll pay $400, $100 of that will go into legal fund because I believe that's the only way we're ever going to get justice. You're exactly right. Well, they, I mean, every time they swab the horse during the celebration or in any other show, they're breaking the law. They know it, we know it. They've denied us due process for years. This no show back and you can't show and everything. You're being penalized before you're ever found guilty. Yes. That's like if they stop you for a speeding ticket out here and they say, well, you ain't got $50 to pay you fine right now, you're going to jail. I mean, give me a break. It's about time that this industry thought about what was going on, realized what was going on, and stood up to what they're doing. Uh, a scar row that's two or three cells thick. Stuff like this, it's, it's ridiculous. And it's getting more ridiculous because nobody wants to do anything to stop them. Well, I'm tired of making contributions for a, a politician, and, and I've got politicians that are friends of mine. And Scott Desjardins, he's a great one. He's a great politician. He, he helps us. But we need something that's permanent. We don't need something that's going to change every time. Every, every time you look up, something changing. Well, the elections. Every time there's an election, there are people that are with their hand held out. Oh, we're going to help you. We're going to help you. But we always end up right back where we're at right now. Yeah. And there's one thing I want people to know. Listen to this. Whoever knowingly alters, destroys, mutilates, conceals, covers up, falsifies, falsifies, or makes a false entry into any record, document, tangible, or object with the intent to impede, obstruct, or influence an investigation or proper administration of any matter within the jurisdiction of any department or agency of the United States or any case filed under Title 11 or in so and so and so and so, they can be fined and serve up to 20 years in jail. Well, for a man or a VMO to sit there and say, there's a scar here, even though it's only two or three cells thick, that's falsifying the evidence right there. It's telling a bald-faced lie because there's no way he would know that. We have had DQPs receive text messages from the USDA threatening them if they did not find horses out if they were brought up for inspection. Now that's calling them and telling them to turn a horse down before they ever see the horse. Yes. They don't know. So these are the things that we have put up with and we've asked help for politicians. And I'm tired of it. I want y'all to know, you want to take it out on somebody, come see me. These are my words, not Jerry's. Uh, even though I hope he agrees with me. Oh, I agree with but, you. Because that, I mean, that's, I, that's I, my I, livelihood, you know? Well, I'm sorry. I'm, I just think it's time for the trainers to say, hey, we, we've had enough of this. We have worked our butts off on these horses. They're clean as a whistle. We're the cleanest industry out here. 
and yet we're the most targeted. And that's another thing, targeting. During the celebration, they never swabbed a flat shot horse until the last Monday, and all they did was swab him. They never inspected a flat shot during the morning, which every night they was there. Oh, yeah, every day, every night. Swabbing, checking everything with a padded horse. So even had one that they passed, or two that passed, out warming up, and one of the VMO says, no, nah, I got to do this, runs out there, gets to them, inflammation. They say we intentionally make the horse walk like that. I've shown a video of a coat, wasn't even a month old, walking off his back end. He was born that way. But yet we're penalized. Yes. So I, I'm just, I have reached my limit. You know, you stretch a rubber band so far and then it's going to break. That's right. I just broke. Mm -hmm. So we're going to, I don't know. You, you talk to trainers all the time, Jerry. We come up, we come up with different things to do it, to help the horse. Everything we do, we get slapped back in the face by the USDA and it, and, and, the way that they have stretched the Horse Protection Act is uh, beyond me. It it's really the biggest is. thing of it is everything we try to do to try to help this horse, we are doing wrong in their eyes. And the things that they do that, you know, like doing the swabbing before you take the horse up there and you're putting alcohol on that horse's foot. I mean, that's, that's wrong, but now they don't get penalized for this stuff I like know that. It. I mean, they, well, you they know. think they're above the law. I'm hoping that this industry finally just files suit against them, takes them to court and lets them know that we have rights and we those rights are ours period let's watch some good horse video In describing the gates of the performance horse in the show horse division, these gates will apply to all classes in this division regardless of age or sex. The flat walk should be true, bold and four-cornered. The horse should nod the head with every stride and bring each forefoot to the ground a mere second before the diagonally opposite hind foot touches the ground. The number one factor that separates the walking horse from all other breeds is their head motion. If a horse is not shaking his head, he is not walking. The foreleg should move straight, not crossing or winging with his hooves, breaking at the knees and reaching forward in an elevated arc. The rear leg should follow through close to the ground, comfortable and overstriding the front tracks. They should be stretching, not squatting or cramping with a lot of bend in their hocks. Notice the horse's back hoof up even with his front hoof. Stiff front or rear leg motion, stumbling, bucking knees, lack of rhythmic timing, pointing or favoring a particular leg, necessity for excessive pumping or bumping of the horse are not typical of the walking horse, and the judge must immediately excuse any horse exhibiting this type of motion from the ring. The running walk should be the same general motion as the flat walk, but with additional speed. The horse shall exhibit a smooth, gliding, overstepping, four-cornered gait with greater stride and accelerated head motion. The running walk should be a free and easy gait. Horses exhibiting an exaggerated, hesitating way of going with a tendency to point with the front feet are not in form. Twisting of the hocks or stiff-legged rear leg motion shall also be considered a deviation from the true running walk, and a horse exhibiting these ways of going should be penalized. The canter should be smooth and straight on both leads, not walking behind, but cantering on both ends with a rolling, rocking chair motion comfortably in hand. Notice the horse leading with his left front leg going to the left and leading with his right front leg going to the right. Exaggerated pumping of the horse at the canter is not considered good form. The walking horse should move freely in each gait and proceed in a smooth, fluid, rhythmic manner. At all gates, the horse should be flexed at the pole with muzzle slightly tucked. Any tendency to rack, pace, or other deviation from the true walk are not typical of the breed. The preceding mannerisms are not considered good form and shall be penalized in judging. All entries should be presented clean, neatly trimmed, braided, and in good flesh, presenting a healthy appearance. Each entry should be outfitted in clean and appropriate tack. 
The exhibitor of each entry should be neat in appearance, attired in properly fitting writing habits, and shall conduct themselves in a sportsmanlike manner at all times. A horse that has not performed all the required gates shall not be placed over a horse that has performed all gates. And we did this for one reason. This is a horse that walks off his back end just like the video. Goes with a natural flow, shakes his head, does it right. You just happen to be riding it. <laughs> But this, this is what our horse does. And the government wants to penalize us because our horse goes this way. Well, it, to me, it's time that we stood up and said, enough's enough. We need to do what's right. And just like doing this show, we got to... Uh, Look at what we're doing. Look at the look at the horse and know. Yes, you're that right. I mean, this is the way our horse goes, and this is the way it should go. Why be? Why are we penalized? That's one of the reasons why I want to go and see the trainers and the industry stand up and say, "Enough's enough." enough. Yes, we've got the proof. We've got the data. We've got it all. We can show for exactly where we're at and what good shape our horse is in, I just think it's time we did it. Now, you won the fraternity show pleasure mm -hmm. on a three-year-old. Yes. Well, that was a three-year-old show pleasure. So I wanted to do you an ad. I don't want you to feel left out. <laughs> so I appreciate it. Here's Sir, <laughs> the Tweba fraternity show pleasure three-year-old champion. You look good out there, Jerry. Right, thank you. Got thank your you. suit on. Yeah. That's a real nice, easy-going horse. I mean, fun to ride. Yeah. Well, he, he, he walks like a walking horse is yes. supposed to. He shakes his head. He strides from the back end. But yet, he'll be penalized because of the way he walks. Yes. And this, this inflammation because a horse walks off his back end. I just don't, I don't see it. I really don't, yeah. I don't see it, I'm sorry. You can say what you want to. To me, it's just, it, it's just an overreach by the government. And I'm hoping that people will take notice and, and start standing up and saying, hey, let's go to court. Well, I mean, the biggest thing of it is, they just, they picks on one type of breed. That just, I'm not gonna call no names, but I mean, it's a celebration. I seen a, a horse that security was riding around. Now, th this was this was one of the mounted patrol Pro horses with the around, boots on. With the boots on, and one of them didn't have boots on because it messed his leg up and he was limping. And they never did say one thing about him no. out there. But now I guarantee you, if I had my padded walking horse out there, and they was saying they would pull me from the back as soon as I got off the trail and brought him up there and, and you, checked you, it. You made a good point there because the bell boots. We've got different breeds that wear them, yes. and they're okay, but we can't. Let, let's watch some victory yeah. passes. Right here's Papa Cito and Karen Bean. I thought she did great. She done a good job. I thought she did. I, I really do. I think that look at the way that horse is going. Yeah. Smooth, just walking, reaching in the back end, nodding his head. Now this is a Western class, but I mean, that horse is, looks great. Yes. Everything flowing together, easy going. That's what you want. And she enjoying herself. She's sitting up in the saddle. Women have special attire, though. Oh yeah. You don't see no guy in there. They got on these old plaid, plaid, <laughs> plaid shirts or solid color shirts. 
Look at there. Got an old blue shirt on. Yeah. He's ready to go. I'd be smoking Joe. Owner amateur all day pleasure, world grand champion. You know, on the flat shot horses, the heavy shot horses, and the pad horses, all of them got one thing in common. All of them, you watch the back end and the head shake. Yep. All of them shaking the head and they walking behind. That's it. In the back feet. And we're you put a set of pads on him, he's still gonna he, do that. Yeah. But we we get penalized for it. That's what upsets me. Getting penalized. You know, just like I tell a lot of people, these horses are just like almost like women. You got some women that don't think they can go outside unless they got the high heel shoes on. I know. And you got some of them like flats. That horse that like flats, so that's why he does his best with them flats on. The other horse, like this horse here, he got his high heels on, yeah. and that's why he won, because he's doing his best right there. He's doing his thing. Yeah. He's and doing he's what he's walking. Like. Look, he's walking, he's shaking. Yes. I want everybody to look at this. We showed the animated horse that describes what our horses are supposed to look like, and now you're seeing world grand champions doing the same thing. Yes. And that's fluid right there. You would, you you're right. You can't ask for nothing no better. Ultimate. Well, uh, yeah. Uh, hey. <laughs> I that loved was, that's this. Good. I loved it. Believe me, I loved it. We showed the whole thing to put it out there. And it, he uh, he had to stop and then go because they wasn't going to have it. He's going to go all the way around. But look at the way the horse goes. I mean, head shaking, walking in his back end, walking in his front end. I've had more people talk about that young man oh, yeah. right there in ultimate honor. <laughs> Jack, you did well, my buddy. And right here is a country lineman. Look at there. Same thing. Nice horse, real nice horse. That horse there is, you know, he's just walking and shaking and just doing his thing. Lady Beasley, she's a, I mean, she's a wonderful rider. Hey, that young lady knows how to ride, but oh, look yes. at her horse. Now, that's just like the animated horse. That's what I'm telling people. It's not, th this horse was built to do what it does. Yeah, you're right. Here's another. Into the Badlands and Chad Spencer. Now he's animated up front, but still got the walk and the shake to him behind. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. But see, at the same time, if you put, it's kind of like the video that we did from flat shot to performance, yes. where we took the horse that was flat shot and kept changing the shoeing. Yeah. And it kept reaching it more and more. Perfect example of a Tennessee walking horse. The weight and the pads is what changes the gait. Yeah, change the angle of it. Uh -huh. Look at here, look at that one. What is he doing? Exactly what the video says yes. to do. Honored in Texas and Bob Adcock. That back foot is coming right up inside that front foot. That's it. He's shaking his head. Whatever. We know that sometimes a horse will slip through that shouldn't, but on the most part, only the compliant horses make the range. Yes. There he is. That was one horse that won a world grand championship, yeah. come back and won a reserve world grand championship. Nice horse. 
horse like that's hard to beat. Oh, yes. And next to impossible to replace. Oh, yeah. I believe that horse had won the blue ribbon with every ride that we showed him. Yep. Here's Dark Rain. Watch the way he goes. Same thing. Now, his head's a little bit higher, but hey, a little bit more reach, but that's the way he goes. Yes. Walking and shaking, back end, fluid, doesn't look like he's straining, yes. ears up, alert. Hey, that's what gets me. I, I mean, this industry has done everything it can to prove that we take care of our animals, we take care of our horses, and we present compliant horses to the ring, and we still have to fight them. Owner Amateur Reserve World Grand Champion, Agenda Win, and Kendra Myers. Again, look at the way he goes. That's why I, I, I get so frustrated that we we fight the way we fight, but we don't we don't really go on the attack. We yes. try to defend everything. I don't see no sense in defending this horse. What I think we ought to do is go after the people who condemn it yes. and find fault in it. Form a line in Carol Baxter. Walking, shaking, free, and easy. She's sitting up, easy, ain't struggling, ain't snatching the reins and nothing like that, you know. Matter of fact, look at them lane, reins are flopping. Yeah. Right here's a kingpin. Same thing there. Reserve World Grand Champion. He's doing the gate doing exactly what he should be doing. You know, I know I do this for a living and stuff like that, but it, I don't care if you wasn't into the walking horses. That's exciting to watch right there. It is. We have people, and, and I, of course you know this, but I get messages, emails from all over the world. I've got a friend in England that sends videos, but him and his buddies watch water horse. And he wants to come over here just so he can ride a walking horse. I got so many people all the time want to ride a walking horse, and this, they don't know what it's called a walking. They say, boy, he's prancing good. Yeah. <laughs> Dollar Silver Collector and Gracie Jean Ware. Look at there. I'm telling you, I, I just get so frustrated with people. And the behavior of these horses. Yes. They're the most easy, docile horses that you ever want to fool with and show. You know, you think of that horse right there. That horse weighs a, a good 1,200 pounds. Right there, and got that little girl right there riding it. Gracie Jean does a great job. She does a good job. It. This is, I don't know, I, I, I feel like I'm, sometimes I'm, I'm talking to a tree stump when I try to convince people to fight for what's right. Look at there. Yeah. Now, that is one big horse. Little Eli. That horse is walking. He's not struggling. He's not having a hard time doing it. He's barely even sweating. And look at them reins. So, you know, if that horse was in any kind of stress or pain, he would not perform. No. Nope. Just like a human being. A human being is not going to perform. And, if he's in kind of some kind of stress of pain. That's a fact. And look here, here's another. World Grand Champion Calm. Look at the way he goes. Free and easy. Yeah. And the division that horse is in, that's the perfect division for him right there. Yes. 
I know we're preaching to the choir out here, but I hope people take notice and realize that the only way that we are ever, ever going to be left alone is to take the USDA to court and show their overreach and what they're doing. The HPA is a good law. I'm not saying it isn't. But there is such a thing as overreach and abusing a law. Here's Slim and Hot. Here's another one. Robert Dorch. Look at him. You can find some of these horses reach a little bit more, but they're still doing the same walk. Well, Jerry, what you try and do is educate the people that don't know that watch this out there that don't know nothing about the Tennessee walking horse. Educate them on the different things that they do and, and the gates and the problem that we are going through. Well, you try, but I will say this. Most of the time when people will take the time to look and listen and watch, they see our point. It's the people that are against us are the ones that, that to me, have the problem. I mean, some of the people, I've looked at some of the statements made, and all it is is copied and pasted. Oh, yes. That's it. Mr. Bentley, Lakeland Matthews, owner amateur youth 617 trail pleasure. Look at that one. You are. And I'll tell you something else that people can, can look at on these videos right here. You look at the joints on them horses and how big their legs are and the ankles and the knees and everything else. You know, that horse got some big, you know, you can take other breed of horses that have 1,500 pounds, but their legs are like they're on two peaks. Yeah, I know. <laughs> These horses ain't as stout as a quarter horse or something like that, but you look at the legs. The legs are a lot more thicker and a lot more healthier. Here's Cavender and Knox Blackburn for Bruce and Robin McDonald. It's another horse. Perfect rhythm. It would be so nice if people would just open their eyes and say, hey, it's time that we stood up. It'd be great if the trainers did that. Just yes. said, we've had enough. I think some of the people out there got a mindset and you can't open their mind up and, sh and, and no, show don't. them. You know what I'm talking about? They got, they're going to be that way. Well, they, uh, we, we've got those that come to uh, inspect our horses. Yes. You, you know when you look up and you see who is coming in with the government, you know what's going to happen. Here's smoking. Look, look at that horse walk. Yes. I mean, what more do you want? Great show, Jimmy. I know Allison's gonna have a ball with that mare. Yeah. I wouldn't be surprised, and I might be far fetched on this, but you might see that I might be a stake winner one day. That's right. Showing the big stake. Very well could be. This is who I am, Chad Spencer. He's a reserve world grand champion. Yep. Look at the walk. You know, we could show, sit here all day and show fact after fact after fact. We're still going to have those that deny it. We're still going to have those that say, well, it ain't so, but it's just like this, people. The horse is our proof. If you can't show me what's wrong, then there ain't nothing wrong. That's right. And here's Nevermore and Julia Calloway, owner amateur 12 to 17, Marin Gildan World Grand Champion. Well, you know, Jerry, it's just like anything else. If you're, if you're gonna have people that's jealous and haters out there in the world. That's it. And when they're jealous of something, they're gonna try to talk about. They're gonna try to talk bad about you. If they ain't talking bad about you, that means you ain't doing nothing. Well, I believe the government has hired a bunch of them to be VMO. Oh yes. Because I can, I can look 
And when a BMO shows up, when I see who it is, I can pretty well tell you what kind of night we're going to have. Yes. And sometimes, if one of them shows up, you say, well, in a good one, you're going to say, well, like the Kentucky celebration. They had two VMOs show up, and they had a pretty good celebration. Owner Amateur Mares and Gildens Reserve World Champion, Harley Quinn and Beth Collins. They had 182 entries and 61 classes. So there's only going to have most three in a class. But uh, some had more and some had less. But my point is this, for 182 entries, and they had the show they did, they only had eight, eight violations pre-show. Yeah. Park Performance World Grand Champion, praise and honor. Here's another one. See, it, it, that's the spitting image of the animated horse. Yeah, that's right. But they had one pro problem child in Kentucky and one real good BMO. Yeah. And you could tell it. Now, they, they did have some violations post-show, but they was mostly, one I think they said was a, a, a chain, uh, act, uh, overweight action device, which could be grease and yeah. stuff, and uh, inflammation, which is natural, especially as according to what kind of track you got. That's right. Is how much inflammation you're gonna have. So, that's it. Spotlight on Jose and Bill Calloway, your two-year-old reserve world grand champion. Bob Adcock's going to have a ball with that horse. Oh, that's a nice horse right there. Oh, no, it is. He's got a high step to him. Yeah. And that's something else. Some of our horses will step higher than that's others. That's right. But that's the way they... Well, like basketball players. You got some basketball players can, can jump up higher than others. You got that You know, right. so, I mean, that's... You got some that can dunk it, and then you got some that have to shoot foul shots. That's, that's right. Born a Maverick. But look at this one. Born a Maverick. Yeah. The way he is. Bob Adcock. I know Bob was tickled to death, because I yeah. believe that was his first World Grand Championship. He's won a lot of blues and a lot of world championships, but I believe that was his first world grand championship. Here's Warbird. That's a nice horse. Oh, they said he he did an exhibition up in uh, Kentucky, and they said he was fantastic. But now look at the way he goes. Yeah. I mean, if that, if that ain't what that video shows. Ryan does a good job with that horse. Oh, yeah. Now, here's Jose's revival and Casey Wright for Debbie Woods. I tell you what, there's a lot of people thought this one's fixing to get the nod. Yeah. I mean, he put on a show. He really did. Casey's a good jockey. It's a good show. I tell you what, I, celebration. We had a great celebration. Oh, yeah. We had we a did. lot of good horses, despite what the USDA was doing. Yeah. I tell you what, you take us to a break, and then we got a surprise. We'll be right back after these messages. Same bloodline, same mother, same father, and here he is. Now this is the offspring. Now Hero is standing at stud at Jerry Williams stable. Yes, now I'm gonna tell you that's a that's a real nice horse. That horse had an injury happen to him in the stall when he was young. Um, but now I tell you got all got a lot of talent that hero horse does. He's a real nice horse. What's a Tennessee vacation? It starts off like any road trip, and then boom. Adventure and thrills everywhere you look. 
which happens to be some of the most beautiful scenery in the country. Music here, history there, and all kinds of green in between. Come relax and unwind, or bring the crowd for some stargazing, or stargazing. Whatever you do, come hungry and expect an awesome soundtrack. It's all right here in Tennessee. We're playing your song. For a free vacation guide, visit tnvacation.com. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. As you know, I have a big passion for the Tennessee Walking Horse, but I also have another passion, and that's for communication systems and saving my customers money. And we've done automobile dealerships, shoe stores, law offices, dentist offices, even the Breeders Association. I have installed systems from California to New York to Florida. And now for a limited time, I am giving three months free service to everybody that signs up for host my calls. And there will be no installation charge. Call me today, 931-581-4411 and see if I can save you money on your communications. <laughs> All right, there's a question came up about if you're not going to do what a horse, what are you going to do? Well, I've had a passion for a long time. And a couple of years ago, we did a music video over in Shelbyville with Catherine Williams. And uh, January 1, we're going to start doing a country music songwriter show, which is these are not uh, your real famous artists, but it's people who are who write songs. Yes. And they perform, and there there's some good ones, and there's some really good songs out here, and uh, a lot of these guys have written songs for stars. So uh, here is a music video that uh, CJ and I did uh, this a couple of years ago before the pandemic. But I hope y'all enjoy it. I only can't. 
wanted man. Man, that's right. <laughs> Pretty good there. Uh, Real good. She, she did a great job on this song. Yeah. Well, we, we've also worked with some other people. Now, we didn't do this video, but these guys, matter of fact, last year I got these guys to come to the celebration to do the national anthem. The Flat River Boys. Now, they, th this is one of their videos, but they're going to be helping with me to do the Songwriters Country Music Show. Because they, these guys are great writers, and uh, especially Chad. Yes. Chad can put it together. He's a cool dude. But let's watch this one. This, this one's great. Temptations sang about the sunshine I guess they knew a little bit about love The only thing I've seen around here Are these dark clouds up above Son, if you can hear me now I can show you See my sweet little baby, she left me She put her love up on the shelf Shine down upon me It's way too dark to see Shine down upon me I really wanna believe. So please, son, please shine down upon me. Lonely days have truly found me. No one ever should have done her wrong. The only thing I'm hearing these days is the sad, sad country song. Son, if you can help me out, it was you go along.
I'm gonna have a good time. I tell you what, that's pretty cool. You think you might can get me on one of the videos? And, <laughs> oh, we'll try. Uh, lip sync. We'll, we'll get somebody to write one about a horse. Yeah, about a horse. And have, yeah. have you ride? That's maybe. right. I mean, we because I'm I'm looking forward to it myself. Yeah. But now, last year they did the national anthem at the celebration, and I, I thought they did a great job. Matter of fact, they performed two hours before. They, they that river. They they they're some good guys. Oh, yes. All right. You take us to break, and then we'll finish her up. We'll be right back after these messages. Welcome to where the five to nine more than makes up for the nine to five. To where you check your troubles, along with your coat. And days are made, even at 10 at night. Welcome to the best time you've ever had since the last time you were here to old friends, new experiences, and forgotten cares. Welcome to where life moves at the speed of you. Welcome to Sam's Town Tunica Hotel and Gambling Hall by Boyd. Welcome to where you wanna be. The Mona Dean family is proud to announce that the multi-time world champion and world grand champion minor ordeal is now available for breeding at Sugar Creek Breeding Facility for the 2023 spring braiding season. Minor Ordeal has proven year after year that he is one of the elite champions of all time winning five World Grand Championships, one World Grand Championship, and the Reserve World Grand Championship as well. Make the call to breed to a true champion, Minor Ordeal, 931-680-0897. Where does your donation to the Humane Society of the United States really go? Their CEO makes more than $450,000. Their top execs make more than $200,000 each. The Humane Society of the United States isn't even affiliated with any local humane societies and only gives about 1% of the money it raises to local pet shelters. So if you want to help homeless pets, give to local shelters. Learn more at humanewatch.org. More of What a Horse coming up. <laughs> All right, we're going to Alabama Jubilee Friday night. Yep. So it's just natural that we'll show some victory passes from last year. That's yes. where we're going to close the show out. And but we're going to be talking about what we're doing the rest of the year. So let's go ahead and start with the 2022 Harley Quinn, remember? Yeah. <laughs> She's still winning. Yeah. She <laughs> won it last year. She's winning it again this year. But I want to remind everybody for the rest of the year, if you run a victory pass, or if you run a sale ad, if you run a auction ad, if you run whatever you do, you run an ad, we are going to take 25% of that and put it in the legal fund. Because I believe defending this industry yes. is the most important thing that we can do right now. I'm just wanting to put an exclamation point on what I've been doing. And believe me, I, I believe in this horse more than anything. I interviewed uh, Carol Baxter down there last yes. year. That was the last show that they had at that place. Yep, the last one. Sure was, it was the yeah. very last show. I hated to see that go because yes. that, that had been a, well, it, it's one of the favorite places that I went. Yeah. Uh, there in Tunica, it's just, uh, Jose's full throttle, Lisa Envanger.
You know, she's a nurse. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We got health care people in the horse industry. That's good. Yeah, all different type people that's in this horse industry, you know, and I tell you, it's, it's very, very interesting, the people you get to meet. Well, I'm going to tell you, we, uh, the way I look at it, Jerry, is we've got an industry that has a wide variety of different people. Yes. But it's a great industry. But if we do not stand up and fight for it, then we're going to lose it. Oh, yes. And if people can think that we're okay. They can think that the politician is going to help us. But if they stop and, and just look back, and this has been going on. I've been doing Water Horse for over 20 years. Uh huh. It was the reason I started Water Horse, was to defend the trainers and promote the walking horse. Yes. But I'm still fighting the same battle today that I came in here to fight in over 20 years ago. Yes. And the only thing I can see is we have improved constantly, and the USDA and the government has constantly changed, moved the goalpost, changed the rules, changed the inspection process, and now they've done it to the point that they don't care if they break the law or not. Yes, you're right. They don't care if they step on us. They don't care if they violate our rights. And me, I've just had my fill of it. I'm, I'm tired of it. I appreciate everything you, you've done for this industry, especially this is my livelihood, this, this trainer. Well, I'm hoping everybody will realize that and jump in and, and uh, say, let's go get them. Yes. But other than that, Friday night, we're going to be at the Alabama Jubilee. You going to be there? Yes, sir. I'm going to be there. We'll be back here next week. I might be singing a song, but I will be back here next week. <laughs> you reckon? I don't know. I want, I want to be on the I, I can't want... pick a tune. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all next week. See you. Working out hard every day to be the best I can. I shift it to the right, shift it to the left, hunger down low and reach high to the sky. Got my rhythm down pat, so they say. I'm looking like a winner in every way. So when I hear somebody say, what a horse, I know they're talking about me, of course. And I'm going to be in that winner circle someday. I'm a prime example of a Tennessee walker, a high-stepping, fast-walking Tennessee talker. I'm going to be in that winter circle someday. Ah, oh, please start talking. Thank you.